Hey guys, it's Cass the Awkward Gamer, and today's game is called Feet in the Snow. It is a point-and-click, I think, horror adventure game. Um, I don't really know much about it. There wasn't really much in the description, so we're just going to check it out together. Oh, okay, so it just kind of starts like this. Start walking. How do I walk? Start. I keep having this dream. Why don't you tell me about it? I'm in a forest at night. There's snow everywhere. There are footprints in the snow leading off to the distance. Do you follow them? Yeah, let's follow them. Yes, I follow them, but they keep going. This is cool. I walk forward again and see something on the ground in the snow. Do you look at it? Yes. Yes, I look at it. It looks like a red scarf, but... Well, what's wrong? It feels like flesh. I continue forward. I haven't seen a point-and-click game quite like this before. I really like this so far. I continue to follow the footprints, but notice a photo on the floor in the snow. Do you look at it? Yes. Oh, yes, I look at it. What's the photo of? It's me, but I have no face, only one giant eye, and it's moving. I continue forward. Eventually, I see a lamppost. The path is split. One way with the footprints continues, and the other is just a clear path. Which way do you go? Footprints, let's keep going. I follow the footprints. Oh, there's an elevator in the middle of a frozen lake. Do you use the elevator? Yes. I walk into the elevator. Let's push the button. The elevator takes me down to a concrete hallway. The footprints continue to a door at the far end. Let's use that. Looks like it needs something. A curved door with no handle. So there must be something that we missed. So let's try some of these doors. Looks like a lab. Surgical items. There's a fish on the table. What's wrong? It's been cut open, but it's still alive. Something's missing. Ew, okay. Hurts my head to look at. Let's try this door. It's a fish. It's a full bottle of oil. Okay, we'll take that. Different chemicals. I think we're done with that room. Walk forward. Let's go through here. Ew, there's a tiny heart in the sink. Oh, I thought it was a tongue. Oh, we, we took the heart, okay. Test tubes. Chemicals. That one's locked. Maybe we need to oil that? Needs a valve first. Well, something was missing from the fish, right? I guess it's the heart. Yeah, oh, oh my, that was really bizarre. There's a key now. Which, I wonder if the key goes through this door. Yeah, there's the valve. There's a valve on the ground. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. A person. Weird. Is there a person in here? No. 
Okay, so we have the valve. Valve goes there. Oil goes on the valve. We use the valve to open the door. I walked through a rusted tunnel until I see light. What do you see? Whoa, okay. It's an alley with shop fronts lit by lanterns. Do you still see footprints? Yes. Can we, let's talk to him first. Looks like you picked the wrong path. Maybe we did. Anything to look at through here? Talk to that guy. Ugh, I need to get out of here. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say. Look at this shop. Oh, you look a little weird. Talk to shop owner. Chose the footprints, huh? Yep, I did. Was that the wrong choice? I was told it was the wrong choice. Oh. You seem different. There's a big rusted door at the end of the alley. Let's talk to this woman first. Did I just hear you talking to yourself? You must be new here. Vending machine, a vending machine, it requires coins. Look at the door, there's no visible way of opening the door. Huh. Maybe we're supposed to get coins. So you want to go through the big door. I could open it for you, if you can find a token and bring it to me. Okay, so that guy wants a token. Do you know anything about that? I don't sell tokens. Do you know anything about that? No. Oh, there's no one here but a locked box is on the counter. So we need a key and tokens. I haven't seen any tokens. Okay. A token? Haven't seen one, but if you're handing out favors, one of the other shop, shop owners stole something from me. I'm convinced he's locked in that stupid box of his. And if you can find the key and unlock the box, I'll give you something in return. Okay, so we need to find a key. Oh, this lantern? Why can we look at this lantern? So, let's see. I don't think there's anything else over here, so let's walk forward. Why can we look at these lanterns? That's very weird. What does that mean? Do you know anything about anything? The box is locked. I don't understand the lanterns. All right, this dude just needs to get out of here, so that's not helpful. This lantern's different. Huh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Do you have anything else to say? No. That lantern's also different. Walk forward again. Let's see, does she have anything else to say? I saw one of the shop owners restock the vending machine earlier. Could you buy me a drink?
There's the key. There's a key inside. Okay, so now we need to go back and unlock this. That's an eyeball. And go to this shop, give them the eye. Perfect, I knew he'd taken it. Here, take these. Great. Now we've got tokens. And let's buy a drink. A can of drink came out. Okay, yeah, here, here you go. I bought you a drink, thanks. Oh, there's a finger in the drink. You can have it, I only want the drink. Okay, what do I do with the finger? Do you want a finger? Try one of the other shops. Do you want a finger? Can't help you with that. Do you want a finger? You sell meat. Just what I need. You know, I saw that guy, you know, the one just over there. He's crouched down smoking. I saw him pick up a token off the floor. Oh, okay, so let's talk to this guy again. Yeah, I found something that looked like a big coin on the floor. I bought some cigarettes from one of the shops with it. Okay, so... Do you sell cigarettes? No. You sell meat, right? You're the meat guy. Do you sell cigarettes? All right, the guy did buy cigarettes for me with that token. The guy wants so badly to get out of here, but the only thing that will get him out of here... What? But use the only thing that will get him out of here for cigarettes. And now I bet you're wanting to tell me to... Wow, I can't read today. And now I bet you're waiting for me to tell you to get something for me, so I'll give you the token. When all you have to do is ask. So here it is. Good luck. Oh, well, I, I kind of did ask earlier, and you didn't really give me anything, so... What do I do with this? There's no visible way of opening the door. I see you have the token. Hand it over and I'll open the door. Here. Oh, he did open the door. That was nice. Don't think I'll be seeing you again. Back in the snow. Where are you now? On a mountain trail. It's snowing again and the wind is strong. Do you climb the mountain? Yes. Yes, I continued the mount on the mountain trail. Oh, I'm at the top. I can see floating rocks over the edge. Do you step over the edge? Yes. Yes, I step onto a floating rock. I hop across each floating rock. Those feet. There's something on that last rock. Ew. What is it? It's feet. They've been leaving the footprints. There's nothing. No path back. And then what? Oh! It just ended. I'm gonna relaunch it and see what happens. Nope, that was it. That is the end of the game. So, that was Feet in the Snow. I don't really know what to make of that. That was very interesting. I've never seen a point and click game like this before. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you guys can check that out for yourself on Itch.io. It was free. Maybe there's secrets that I did not unlock. I wonder what would have happened if we had chosen the other pathway. Maybe that's something you guys can do and let me know what happens. Come back almost every day of the week for more videos by me. Do the YouTube things. If you felt any particular way about this video, good or bad, let me know about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.